Hi, this is Ed Gregory from PhotosInColor.com and today I'm going to share with you 18 photographers that you should probably know about. Here we go. Okay, so if you ever just want to relax, put your head back and fall into a dream world, then you have to go and look at Eric Almaz. He is literally the king of concept and composition. This guy just goes through like creating these amazing ideas, putting them to together, photographing them and creating the most incredible compositions. His work has been used for ad campaigns all over the world. He's also a great fashion photographer as well. So definitely check him out. He is amazing. Now, Jill Greenberg is probably one of my all time favorites and biggest inspirations. She has a clear style and that is what makes her stand out. I first knew about her in 2012. She did this project called End Times with all these babies that were crying. It was really traumatic. She got loads of marketing and publicity around that, but that completely changed her career. And now she is literally shot for everyone, like the TV shows for famous people, for literally everyone. She has done it all, all because of this amazing style. And that goes to show, find a style, follow it. And what she's also great at is delivering what the client wants. Jill Greenberg, you are one of my inspirational heroes. You're amazing. So Kat Erlin has to make my list because her work just leaps off the screen, the page, whatever. Yes, she's shot for so many different people. She's got magazine covers. She's shot for everybody. But her work is so cinematic. It's so the film, the depth, it just looks incredible. Her coloring is so wonderful. When I see the images, they just seem to creep off the page and are filled with so much emotion. Really, her images are, every single one is an image that I can spend time on and look at and not feel like there was a load of work that went into them. They just feel natural, every single one. Although I know that each one takes a lot of work. Beautiful work. Now this next guy, I don't even know his full name, but I know him as Mr. Ben Brown. He's got a YouTube channel. I believe he's like a vlogger. He's also got a great Instagram account. But what I love about him is he's an obsessive traveler and he just likes to capture the moments and the story behind each moment. And I can always go to his Instagram account, flick through and have a great time. And I always know I can go to his YouTube channel and actually see the journey behind those photographs. So I definitely recommend if you're thinking about storytelling and travel photography, then definitely check out Mr. Ben Brown. He's a fellow Brit and he's awesome. So most of the photographers I'm talking about today have Instagram accounts. Now, if you go to my Instagram account, at photos in color, and you'll look at who I'm following, the only people I am going to be following today are these people. So just find me, go on my followers, who I'm following, and then you will find all of these photographers. So Jesse Herzog, which I think that's how you say his name, I cannot find anything anywhere apart from him on Instagram and Twitter, but he is a great raw storyteller. It seems like he just has an idea, a vision, and he captures it, whether it's clean or dirty. And what I really appreciate, he never seems to want to clean things up. It's a really great way of storytelling, and his photography is beautiful to look at. And it definitely feels like I'm stepping back in time, yet with contemporary subjects. His work is really, really great. Next up is Richard Averdon. And if you have ever shot on film, you must have heard of this guy. And if not, you have to go look him up. He needs massive, massive respect. He is known to be one of the fashion photographers that shaped American photography. His work is just stunning. I'm looking at images here and he's shot George Bush, Marilyn Monroe. He's shot everybody, Ronald Fisher, Samuel Beckett, literally anybody that you can imagine he shot, but he shot it with such depth and style and elegance about his work. He really is somebody to admire and look at how he was able to take a person, a character and capture them in a single frame. Now, if you're a photographer who's taken a few great photos and wonder how can you take consistent images over and over again, look at Erez Sabag. Now, this work is just fantastic. Like literally every single image is so much fun. They are a editorial and fashion photographer, 
but their level of skill is really high. And again, if you just go through their work, you can see a consistent level of work, and that really is how to build a great portfolio, is consistency and also a style which is noticeable or recognizable. Literally, this portfolio is a joy to go through. And also, just go to the website, and there's a little video that starts playing when you first get onto it. It's just a great thing that makes you enjoy your day. Next up is Helmut Newton. He was a fashion photographer in the 60s and 70s and beyond. Starts off with French Vogue, I believe, but he was literally amazing. He was known as a very hyper-surreal, sexual photographer in the fashion world, and his images were captivating. You can literally go through his photographs and just look at them for hours and hours, and I would recommend that on a Sunday afternoon, spend some time looking through his work. Absolutely amazing. Okay, and this next one is an Instagrammer who actually follows me on Snapchat and we've chatted a few times, but I love his work. His Instagram name is C from the Sky. I'm sure you've seen his stuff. He's from the Maldives. He does these amazing photos of the ocean from the sky and he does all sorts of slow motion stuff. It really is amazing. His name is Ishan something, Ishan, Ishan, but he's amazing. So definitely check him out on Instagram. I love it. Okay, so this next guy, Joey L, is one of the art directors and photographers of today. He is a prodigy. He is amazing. I've seen so much of his work. If you've been in the photography world for any time at all recently, you will have seen his work. He's shot for the National Geographic, for Lavazza. His personal work is stunning. He really is fantastic. I even believe he has a YouTube channel, so check that out. But Joey L is somebody to go and watch now in the future and also just be inspired by his vision and time that he will take to get the perfect photo. It's amazing. Now this next photographer, Jesse Olkanimi, is a wonderful travel photographer. Now there's always an element of loneliness that I see in their photography, but it also has this great style. There's always a great thought process that goes into it. And a lot of the time it's kind of awkward and I love that. Now this person has a great Instagram feed, so definitely check that out. Next up is David LaChapelle, who I saw years ago in an exhibition when I was living in Mexico City. And his work is super intricate with these massively lavish sets. All of his photographs are really controversial. They are always discussing some socio-political thing. Um, they are really stunning and remarkable images. He also does loads of music videos. You probably know, well, a bunch of them that he's done, but one of my favorites is Dirty by Christina Aguilera. Really, he is a genius when it comes to the art world. He has a great image, and what he really has is he's fearless in what he does. He loves to challenge in everything that he does, any idea or any ideal, and that I, is why I have a lot of respect for David LaChapelle. Definitely check out his work. So if you're wondering why I chose 18 photographers, that is because it is 18 days until my big product launch. Head over to photosincolor.com, sign up for the emailing list, and you'll be the first to hear about my big news. Now, if you've ever wanted to get into product photography, you must have heard of Alex Koloskov. This guy is unbelievable. I believe he calls himself the lighting magician, and honestly, when you see his work, you have to agree. He is literally amazing. Splashes of water, perfume bottles, flowers, everything you see, it is just stunning. I would definitely recommend check him out as he really knows the fine intricacies of how to light something very specifically to make it look fantastic. Now, if you want a photographer who is right now, who is current, who is amazing at portraiture and editorial work, then you have to go check out Ben Cope. His work's just brilliant. I actually find it really fun to look at. I feel like it's got a level of intensity, of awkwardness, of openness. He really is a great photographer who just has a clean style. And what I get from his work is I can see that he loves to take his photos. There's something about every image that has fun and playfulness in it. I love it, I love it. When it comes to black and white landscape photography, for me, it's Michael Kenner. 
He is amazing. Imagine those images of the ocean where the ocean seems like it's a piece of glass and you've, you've just got some wood jetting up and it's serene and beautiful. It's probably a Michael Kenner. Well, it is for me anyway. Go and look at his work. Just look through some of his images. It is beautiful. And it's really good to look at his work to think, okay, this is a concept. However, it's just photographing reality. And I really appreciate how he's managed to create these really surreal looking images for something that is actually real. Beautiful work. John Keatley is a contemporary photographer who I actually found on Instagram, but then I've checked out his work online and I love it. He's really great at taking portraits, but he has some great concept. He had one exhibition where he was photographing people like the plastic army men, which I really appreciate. But one thing, if you go to his website, look up his photographs of iPhone portraits. It shows you there just how good mobile phone photography is and also his level of skill. Check him out on Instagram as well. It's John Keatley. It's amazing work. Now, Dennis Leupold, I think that's how you say his name, I also found on Instagram, but I was captivated by his work there, his portraits, his editorial work. So I checked out his website, and honestly, there's this one image of Olivia Palermo, and this image was like, he's amazing. I saw it, and I just think it is captured so wonderfully, the styling of it, the lighting of it, very simple black and white photograph, but just the way that the model is, it really is beautiful. And then just stick around on his website to see his work. Some really great focused work as a photographer and a, a, a real storyteller. So this next photographer is probably the reason why I became a photographer. His name is Mario Testino. And if you haven't heard of him, where have you been? He's literally the most famous fashion photographer of all time. I, I think, and he must have shot everybody that you could literally think of. Famous people, royal people, TV stars, musicians, videos, film, photography, ad campaigns, literally everything. His work is stunning. Go to his website, lose yourself. It's amazing. So that there is the 18 photographers that are inspirational to me right now. Thank you so much for watching. Please go follow me on Instagram at photosincolor and go over to photosincolor.com. Thank you so much for watching.